All right, that was amazing. The Aphonic, everybody. Woo. Got to wait for my camera person to get in line now. <laughs> Your camera person has done an incredible job, so please thank them. There you go. Oh, look, I'm really dark. <laughs> it's dark in there. You just got to feel the vibe, man. Yeah, it's actually quite light where I am, but hey, whatever. How it's are you, man? Good. I'm doing well. How are you? How are you feeling after that? That was awesome. Yeah, that, it, it was good. That, but believe it or not, that's the first time I played that all the way through. <laughs> Awesome. So it's always good when it sort of goes roughly to plan. Yeah, no, it sounded perfect. It sounded really good on my end. Everybody in the chat was loving it. Your vibes are always uh, very strong. You're always coming on strong with the good vibes, man. All right, well, that's cool. It's been a, a weird, we've had a weird week here at home, so it was funny getting ready for this and everything. But um, and as I say, <laughs> this morning, I hadn't literally played like five minutes of this thing, so... It was a bit of a rush to just get it into some sort of structure, but we sort of got there. I was winging it, but it sort of turned out all right, I think. Yeah, no, that was that was perfect. It sounds and I got so my good. gin and tonic. That's the important thing, look. Yeah, I was going to ask you. Uh, you kept getting uh, zoom-ins on the – we got extra close-ups of the drink, and I was like, are you drinking a gin and tonic or a oh, margarita? Yeah. Or? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, no, it's the gin and tonic, absolutely. It's the nice. important thing. Well, I, cheers. I'm sure it gives like some – yeah, there you go, man, yeah. Cheers. I, I'm sure it really upsets some people because it is pretty near to my stuff and I am pretty clumsy. So <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't at all surprise me to knock it over on the damn thing one day. But, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm recording a live set for a uh, for a live stream coming up or not a live stream, but for a, a, a video coming up like a, a festival thing coming up. And um, I had this this I had a cup like of water next to my rig and i had that exact thought i was like man people are gonna be people are gonna give me shit about having this big glass of water oh, so yeah. i went and got one with that had a lid and a straw yeah <laughs> I, I know they do and, and they're quite right uh, it's just I'm absolutely so i'm just a careless person but I, I know that it will be people in there will be going well, well he's got that glass right near the thing you know so but i haven't looked one over yet so but brian you, you had the you have like the the rig has has grown um, we had a super full sound tonight, and like I noticed, you have basically like every sequencer that I want. Um, so I, I was have many sequencers. About, do I? What, what? Which ones do you want? So you have you have vector. Oh yeah, that's great. Cool. That was controlling everything. That was, that's oh, everything. Vector was pretty much the only sequencer. Okay, because then you have the the black and gold one um, that's like an arpeggiator. Uh, <laughs> Instruo. 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 Precise. Which one? The Instruo. What's oh, it no, no. That's um, that's the grain thing. That's the arbor. It's a oh, grain. It, it makes like a, a, and in this, it was, it was doing like a droney noise that I created a couple of days ago. And it just sort of fills out the background, but it's not a sequencer. It's just, that's just the grain um, sampler thing, you know? Oh, okay. The arbor. The Arbor, yeah. Okay, so I thought you had the, um, I can't even remember what it's called, because it's so big. It's like, it's got, is it the ACL sequence? Thing. No, I I only have I only have the vector, and I guess you could call it the the newest yeah. thing in my rig is the um, acid rain maestro, right, which everything one, yeah. was use, was creating the rhythms for almost everything you just heard, because okay. it's a fantastic piece of kit. I don't really think of that as a sequencer, but in some ways it is. What but is that? That, that? That was the only sequencing going on. There was nothing from from anywhere else. I did have a Volterra, but I am sad to say that I took it out. <laughs> okay. Because it was just taking up space and I wasn't using it because of the vector. Right. But uh, I'll tell you what was in there. The, the, uh, I'll ask the questions for you, Alex, shall I? Uh, yeah, let's, <laughs> just, let's just, you just tell me what you were doing, please. Okay, <laughs> well, the, 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 the main voice, or the, uh, the thing that I've been sort of most pleased with, I, I bought it, I don't know, about four months ago now, is the Rare Waves Hydronian. And in everything I've created so far, it creates that acid noise, so you know all the way through that. There's like this acid sort of squelchy noise, you know, um, thing going on. Um, and the maestro, maestro was into that as well, which makes it even more acidy sounding. But okay. it's, um, it's a big 
big unit but it, it's like a self-contained voice it's got an envelope in it and a filter and everything else and um it, it it's really found its way to the heart of everything i've been doing for this last three or four months and that was exactly the same there it was it was playing all the way through the for the track but i would like you know close it right down so it was very very tight and plucky and then you can open it up and make it really wide and and that's what i did right at the end to make a big sort of finish thing i just opened it up and it, and it sounds great oh that's awesome what were the chords you were doing? Uh, what was I using for chords? Oh, yeah, the chord, that was interesting. So it was chainsaw. Um, I've got a chainsaw in there, and it was the Symphonian um, sending um, um, uh, CV to the three uh, chainsaw inputs, and that was creating the chords. Uh, and, the, and, the, and the Symphonian was moved uh, tune-wise from the vector. So I just had the okay. I just had CV going into the Symphonian, and that changes the chord shapes, and that goes into the chainsaw, and that was all the chords you were hearing. Oh, okay, there were, there cool. were some samples, though. There were some, and you're probably thinking of that actually, because you probably even noticed the thing I just talked about. There, there, I created some um, samples from Omnisphere, as you know, that's my favorite VST. So I created a couple of pad sounds from there, and they were they were in there, and they're very lush, and you know, you have to sort of use them sparingly because they take over the track if you're not careful. Right. And uh, what, what were the drums you were using? Oh, a whole mixture of things. So um, WMD drums, there was Chimera, there was Fracture. Um, there was a couple of samples on Assimilator. Um, there was Crater in there. Um, there was no drum loops. Everything you were hearing was was sort of being played live, be it a wow, sample that's... or be it a module. But the interesting thing is and this is the first time i've done this i was using euclidean rhythms from pam's new workout and i was controlling that via cv so all the time you might have seen me sort of messing around in the back of the the, the rig here and i was i was basically attenuating the cv so that when you when you made it less it was less of a rhythm you know much more sparse and when you turned it up it was just a full-on rhythm so that helped with a with a song like that where it, it goes fast and then it goes slow or it goes busy and then it goes less busy mm -hmm. that's what that's how i was doing that so it was sort of all real time but most of the drum rhythms with the exception of the kick drum were coming from pams as euclidean rhythms which is oh, the first crazy. time i've ever done that and it, it worked really well yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah, that sounded really good. Well, thank you so much again for playing. Oh, no, it's my pleasure. As you know, I love it. <laughs> yeah, we love having you, Brian. It was cool. All right, man. Well, have a great night. Thanks again. Thank you.